we can only write really in winter, and we have very different styles. Oh, that's funny. Yes. Uh, I, so, Ken. Oh, I should say it. I do what Margaret calls the vomit draft. So, I write, uh, for this last book, I wrote 150 words, 150,000 words, which were cut down to 50,000 words. <laughs> and mostly I took out the pretty adjectives, and Margaret really helped me arrange things. On the other hand, I wait till very close. Two weeks before the no, deadline. No, not two weeks, but maybe a month or so before the deadline. Nothing comes to me until then, and then I have an epiphany. As spontaneously, I sit down and I write everything. So I, it's it depends. Uh, the one good thing about garden writing, I mean, the one thing about garden writing is there's never a shortage of, of ideas because as the season evolves, there's something fresh that you think, oh, probably other people are experiencing that right now too. So it might be good to tell them, you know, like if there's a big year for, for instance, fall webworm right now, all those tent looking, they're not tent caterpillars, but they look like tent caterpillars on the ends of branches, those webs, you know, if I'm seeing it, other people are seeing, you know what I mean? It's, it's no shortage of topics. Um, so that's good. Yeah, you said that and I was gonna ask you, have you ever had writer's block? But we don't have time for writer's block. <laughs>